we have turned a natural gas situation entirely round. Just a few years ago, we were predicting that we would be importing 40% of our natural gas within a decade. Now, we're never going to import natural gas within the foreseeable 70 or 80 years, and the import facilities we built to get ready to import that gas are now applying to become export facilities. With falling gas prices across the country down 49 cents a gallon from their peak this year, and when gas prices drop, consumers are more likely to use that extra money to buy gifts. It's all being fueled by the American oil boom. Today, Dow Chemical announced it's riding the natural gas boom into the state of Texas, constructing a multi-billion dollar plant with the potential of creating thousands of jobs. Because cheap energy, the revolution that's going on in America's heartland on energy, is making sure that America now has a, man a manufacturing renaissance. Back in 2009, we were both laid off. Things were on the area really slowed down. But toward the end of 2009, we got our jobs back because of the natural gas boom create our jobs back plus a lot more. Gas is 50 percent cleaner than other fossil fuels and it is a major reason why American CO2 emissions have actually gone down in recent years. And the pollution that I'm looking at is traditional pollutants as well as carbon. And natural gas being abundant has been a game changer in our ability to really move forward with pollution reductions that have been very hard to get our arms around for many decades. Now we're in a, we're in a totally different world. Now we're looking at self-sufficiency in gas, close to self-sufficiency in oil, we're already self-sufficient in light oil, and North America, not the Middle East, is the center of incremental growth. OPEC doesn't matter as much as it used to. The United States of America now produces more of our own oil here at home than we buy from other countries. That's a big deal.